Yo, welcome back, Lazy here, and in this episode, we're back on Car Drift Racing, and we're going to be checking out this, the Judge, or the VF Commodore, and this is right up my alley. Four-door, Holden, sold. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is jump in and change the colour, so yeah, let's do that. Okay, so for the colour, this purple's alright, but you can't really see the body line, so what I want to do is go through, and I want to make this a dark silver. Because these cars just look absolutely amazing in silver. So right there is where I want it to be. Yep. Now jumping over to the tint. I don't want it too dark. But I want it just to be nice and smoky. Boom. Right there. Bang. That's dead on. Sweet. So now the paint and all that's done. Now we can jump into the build. So let's get into it. Okay, so I've built this car a few times. The first thing I want to do is jump in and put on the ultimate pack. Yep. Now jumping into the body kits, we have the cops, which I don't want to mess around with. We've got the standard body. We've got the wide body, which is pretty dumb because this thing's already wide body. We've got that one, and we've got the V8 supercar. But I'm going to go with this kit specific. I want to go with the front headlights with the bezels, which we've already got. For the front bar, I want to go back to stock because I really like the way it looks. Uh, since this is car extra racing, we're going to go no hood. I don't want to change the mirrors. The cage is fine. And for the side skirts, yeah, we'll just leave it where there it is. For the trunk lid, hmm. I actually want to leave that stock. For the rear bar, I actually really like that one right there. So we're going to go with that. For the spoiler, I actually really prefer this with no spoiler at all. So we're going to go and take that completely off. For the rear lights, we're just going to leave them where they are. For the exhaust, hmm. I'm going to go with the turn down because why not? For the front seat, passenger seat. We're going to go with the Takata, and we're going to go with Takata as well for the driver's seat. For the steering wheel, I want to go with something different. So, yeah, we're going to go with that one right there. For the handbrake, or e-brake, uh, I want to go with that one. And for the shifter, hmm, which one do I want? Yeah, let's go with that one. Keep it stock. So for the rims, I'm going to switch over to the rear. And here we go. This is this is where we want it. I'm going to put stockies on the rear. You know, if you see a Commodore and it's got stockies on the rear, they either had fun or about to have fun. For the front rims, though, I actually really like that style. But we're going to go through and have a look at the rest of the rims first. So we're already pretty much sold, but we'll just go through and see if anything else suits it. Mm, they look good. And where are they? They look good as well, but I'm actually really sold on pretty much the first or second set we've seen. Yeah, that one. Boom. Yep. And for the tire lettering... I want it on the front this time, so we'll just go with, yeah, we'll go with that one. Sweet. Now, there's the build done. What we can do now is jump over and get into the longer bit of the video, and we'll hit it with a tune. Sweet. So, let's jump over. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is go through, and I want to max out all the suspension, make it as stiff as we can. And we want to zero out the toe. We're going to do the camber last and all the rest of the alignment last pretty much. So for the caster, I want to go with 7.5 and 75. I don't really usually run that much caster and Ackerman, but I reckon this car can take it. Jumping into here, we leave the diameter where it is. I want to go up by one in the width in the rear and we'll leave the front where it is. The tire pressure can be brought down in the rear and up in the front. For the adhesion, we want all the grip in the rear and a little bit of slip in the front. We'll come up and do the track width last. For the profile, I want to go zero 
pretty much zero in the front. We'll leave it at 30 in the rear. Yep. Uh, we'll go through and max out the engine. Also, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that awesome stuff. It's much appreciated. Cheers. So you got 868 horsepower and 600-ish foot-pounds of torque. We'll lock the diff. Turn the ABS off, and I want to bring the front brake bias down to about 40. Yep. Uh, going off experience, we're going to want to up the final drive, and I want to run around fourth gear, so we will bring that up as well. Yeah, 45 will do. Sweet. Now we can go through and do the rest of the alignment so I want to go into here we want some positive camber we want some but not too much right where there where it is spot on and we'll just slam it in the rear and we'll bring the front down a bit but I don't want to clip so we'll bring that up yep right there Awesome. I'll put a bit more camber into the front. Yep. Let me jump into here and bring the track width out a bit. Yep, we want it. don't want it too much, but that's about right. Now we can take it for a bit of a test drive. Okay, so I reckon the tuning of the gears is just going to be off just by a little bit. Yeah, that's what I thought. So what we we'll want to do is jump back into the tuning and change up them gears a little bit. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is jump back into here and go over to the transmission for fourth. I want to bring that down to about 134. We'll give that a shot. So, let's see how this goes. Yeah, there we go. So, we're not banging Lumi on fourth. We're right there though. So we got enough power. And we're hanging some massive angle, which is awesome. So, let's jump out of here. The track I want to do is the parking lot A. I want to try and beat 41,000. And I want to try and get some backies in as well. So, let's jump in and do that. Sweet, so we absolutely smashed that 41,000 point score, and editing this video was an absolute fucking shit show, but we did manage to get two really awesome backies, and one that got really close to the barrier, but that's it for the video for today, thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll catch you next time, laters.